I was at BYU before my mission, spent a whole year and then a spring semester there. And during that spring semester, I remember I moved into a different ward and we had a lot of return missionaries in the ward too. And so just during that whole semester, it, we kind of had a conversation going back and forth between the return missionaries and pretty much everyone else who had a mission call at that point. And just the insight that they gave us into going on a mission and about getting ready for it, you know, just kind of looking at us and watching us, getting ready to go out. You know, you could just see a lot of wisdom in their eyes and just, you know, we know what you're about to go through. And I remember that last Sunday of that semester, pretty much all the RMs stood up and they bore their testimonies. And the common theme among it was, you know, there's no way to be 100% ready to go on a mission. That was the common theme. It was like, it, once you get into the MTC, you know, you kind of get hit a little hard with, you know, okay, I'm on my mission, we're going for the next two years, and it's never really what you expect. Like, I think everyone gets this, these different ideas of what the MTC is going to be like, or what a mission is going to be like, and it's always completely different. Like, no one ever expects exactly what it is. So, I think no matter what you do, the common advice is always, you know, read your scriptures, keep saying your prayers, build your testimony as much as you can, and that's really what's going to get you through it. Like up until my farewell, every talk that I gave before that, like I spoke at two other kids' farewells, or not kids, but elders' farewells, who were going out on a mission. And every time the bishop asked me, okay, talk about preparing to serve a mission. And at my farewell, I got to sign the exact same thing to it. It was like, keep talking about preparing to serve a mission. You know, we want you to figure this out. And so, yeah. And my final conclusion was, you know, exactly what I talked about. You know, these RMs told us there's no way to be 100% prepared, but just keep building your testimony. Keep... You know, just stay strong and understand that, yeah, this is, this is a great thing. This is exactly what the Lord wants you to do, and you'll be blessed for doing it. So, remember, for some reason, I got really sick in the MTC. I had all sorts of rashes on me, and I didn't know what was going on at all. Um, but I just remember, you know, the lessons our teachers were teaching us. And, and I'd never been that sick in my life. And I thought, okay, this is a great time to get sick. Here I am trying to learn Norwegian, you know, getting ready to go out and do, you know, pretty much what I've been preparing to do up at in my life up until this point. I thought, well, you know, why am I getting sick? What's going on here? And, you know, I went to the health center. They didn't really know what it is. I remember the doctor told me like, oh yeah, the, well, they're not measles and they're not like bug bites. So I don't know what to tell you, you know, come back if they don't get better in a couple of days. And you know what, they ended up getting better. It was just kind of a weird thing. Just kind of a, and I had to have faith that I'd get through and just kind of, you know, the Lord wanted me to be here. I'm not going to, you know, fail at this for some reason. Um, I just remember overall the MTC was a really positive experience despite, you know, getting sick and a couple other kind of weird things. It was really fun to learn Norwegian, really fun to, you know, start off learning the language like that.